so lovely. But honestly, I was actually going to put this on my Facebook and say whoever did this is oh, lovely. Thank you so I much. I think this is beautiful. And I was like, oh, it's like a nature Banksy. I like it. I don't. I was like, I hope the town gets covered in murals. I think it would be really pretty. <laughs> my name's Tanya Hinton, and um, I work as an artist, professional artist. Um, I live in Warminster, and walking around town, I see so many boarded up windows. So many shops boarded up that aren't used anymore and broken down places, buildings, old buildings. And I thought, oh, that's such a shame. And it looks so unattractive. And I thought, well, I could brighten it up. And I woke up one day and thought, well, oh, I think I'd like to paint some birds around the town. And people responded so well to them. They loved them. Um, so I kept going. And I think there are probably over 70 in town now. Why bird? Well, partly because the boards that I paint on are mostly sort of high up on walls. So to make it look natural, if I were to paint, say, a rabbit or something, it wouldn't work high up on a wall. It wouldn't create a natural setting for it. Oh. Uh, well, I've got my favourite spots that I go to. Um, yeah, I think in town, my favourite is probably the goldfinch that I've painted near Morrison's. So we've got this... Um, pergola type affair, this wooden structure with jasmine climbing up it, and the pillars, I'm trying to cover those in birds, and yeah, I put a goldfinch on there amongst amongst other birds. But I think I've found just about every boarded up window in town now, so now it's a case of adding to them. Um, there's a couple of spaces that I haven't started on yet, which I've got my eye on, um, but otherwise, yeah, I'll keep on going. I do get shop owners coming up to me now and asking if I can put a bird on their shop. <laughs> which is sweet. I, mean, I don't charge for any of this, anything that's in town. It's, it's for free, it's for people just to, just to make the town smile. Lots of people have asked me about doing a trail because um, they like to take their children out and go bird spotting and don't want to miss any. So I'm thinking maybe I could do a map and put it online and, um, and then people can see where they are. I think it's amazing and my children love it as well. So yeah, my children go out more or less every day to look for the birds. And, and see which ones are about and the new ones and everything. And then I've got friends that come over as well. We take the children out to go and look for them. Well, I think I'm going to keep going. I know, unless I'm asked to stop or um, possibly arrested. I hope not. <laughs> Absolutely love it. I was literally just walking up here. I've got a picture on my phone, actually, of your work because I've just seen it. I'm not even joking. <laughs> and then I just seen that and then you here. And I've just wanted to tell you how much I liked it. Oh. So many people stop and talk. I have people shouting out of car windows at me. All good stuff, all friendly, nice stuff. Somebody even shouted my name. I have no idea who they were the other day, but they drove past and obviously heard about me. <laughs> no, do it. I think it's stunning and it's what we need. And I love nature. I, David Attenborough is one of my favourite oh, people. Yeah, so anything like this. So I appreciate what you're doing. Namaste. Namaste.